Hello everyone and welcome back and today I have another Q&A video for you guys. For anybody who doesn't know by now, this is kind of like a new mini series on the channel that I do once or twice a week where I answer questions from you guys over on Twitter, either personal or GTA related. Now that's going to change from now on, I want you guys to start commenting your questions as well down in the comment section and what I'll do for the next Q&A is I'll grab some from the comment section and I'll also grab some from Twitter as well. That way it gives all of you guys a chance to start asking questions and of course if you want to go ahead and ask a question feel free to do so and you may be featured in the next Q&A video. Anyway with all that out of the way let's go ahead and get straight into the Q&A. So the first question comes in from a guy named Callum and he asks if you could be any GTA single player character in real life who would you be and I want you guys to answer this one down in the comment section down below. Now in a real life scenario I guess it would have to be Michael DeSanta I mean he lives a good life of course if it was real life then he would have a nice house a nice car a family he'd be filthy rich I mean he lives a technically a good life although he's depressed a lot in GTA I guess it would have to be Michael once again tell me who you would be down in the comment section down below of course if that was a real life scenario started off a bit weirdly with that one uh, but I guess that leads me to my next question which is actually from a guy named George and he asks what do you think is the best thing that could come in the next day I would say judging on leaks or on just what you think now this one's a pretty hard question. I would like the casino or heist to be the next DLC. I truly do believe it's going to be heist, but the casino as well. I'm tied between both of them. Um, both of them are awesome. I want to know what you guys think of this. If you had to choose between one DLC to come next, would it either be heist or casino just out of them two alone? Of course, a lot of you guys out there would may want other things, but just between the casino and heist, which one would you actually want to come into the game first? And I'm actually torn between both of them. I mean, the aspect of having a casino would be absolutely absolutely awesome going in placing bets having fun with your friends with some mini games blackjack and a bunch of different things just would generally be awesome as a feature whereas heist would be more of a longer type of thing i guess you could say there'll be more things to do with heist i guess so i'm kind of torn between both of them uh, let me know what you guys would choose down in the comments down below Anyway, that kind of leads me into the next question, which is actually from a guy named Alex, and he asks, when do you think that Rockstar is planning to release Heist? Maybe for patch 1.17, like a one-year treat. Now, for anybody who doesn't know what he means by this, the one-year anniversary for GTA 5 is very nearly among us. It's actually on September the 17th. Now, 17th being, you know, patch 1.17 or the 17th update. Now, of course, you can already see a connection there. It is just speculation at this point, but can Considering the next update is going to be, you know, update 1.17 and the one year anniversary is going to be on September the 17th, people are believing that maybe a huge announcement or some type of DLC is going to be on the 17th. And truly, it is just speculation at this point. Um, I'm not entirely sure if they're going to even do anything, but considering Rockstar do like to release stuff on celebratory days, I truly do believe if there's going to be a huge announcement or something like Heist is definitely going to be released. Anyway, that leads me into the second question of the day, which is actually from a guy called Nathan, and he asks, since GTA V is coming out on the next-gen consoles, what new features would you like to see in the new GTA that is coming to next-gen? Now, of course, there is a huge list of things that not only you guys out there, but personally me as well, would love to see in next-gen, so I want to see what you would like to see in the comment section down below, and I'm going to try to list off a few things here. One of the main things for me as well is to bring back that core trait system from San Andreas, you know, the things where you could change your physical appearance by going to the gym, uh, going to the clock and balance, eating loads of course would increase your weight, things like that, bring that back into the game. I was thinking maybe have pets online as well, that's kind of a 50-50 one for me, I don't know how that would pan out. Um, definitely bring snow to online um, as a, you know an actual weather, not um, just a one type thing at Christmas or things like that. Make that a core feature, um, definitely decrease the loading times if that would even be counted as a feature, that should automatically be coming anyway. The loading times for GT are some of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen in a game. I would turn on GTA 5, I'd be sitting there waiting for like 10 minutes before I can even get into the game. So that's some of the list I guess you could say. I'm sure there's loads of more things out there that you guys are going to come up with. But um, once again, comment down below what you guys think. And uh, that leads me to the last question of the day. So the last question comes from Samuel and he asks, when GTA V comes out to next gen, 
Do you think that Rockstar will stop DLC for current gen and only do DLC for next gen? Now there's a lot of confusion with this. I do get asked this quite a lot down in the comment section. So I want to kind of clear things up. I really don't see Rockstar stopping DLC for current gen. I think that would be a crisis for them alone. Uh, just stopping it for current gen because there's still more people on current gen as far as I know than there is on next gen. Um, so I can't see that happening. Maybe, just maybe there may be exclusive content for the next gen versions. Of course that would increase, you know, their sales a lot. That, that would you know promote more people to go and buy the, the next gen versions and uh, play the next gen versions but as far as you know stopping DLC for current gen and um, there's no way that's going to happen I just can't see that happening and uh, hopefully it doesn't happen but nevertheless guys that is the end of the Q&A a little bit shorter today I believe I think we're coming up on five minutes now and um, hopefully you did enjoy this Q&A guys if you do want to see more Q&As like this be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below let me know if you want to see them shorter or longer as well or is this kind of the perfect time for them and once again if you want to get involved be sure to leave a comment down below with the hashtag q and a or go ahead and go over to my twitter and tweet me a question over there anyway guys hope you enjoyed and i'll see you all tomorrow with a brand new video